diversity in Turkey, different cultures, different religions, different languages. This is something I find fascinating. Ne kahvesi? Dibek, Dibek kahvesi. Abi sen para verirsin. Ben para vermem ama dondurma yedim istiyorsanız. And this is the main mosque building. Nestorianism, it is another sect of Christianity. Şimdi tam mutlu musunuz? Aldığınız her şeyiniz tamam. The big mosque, Behram Paşa Camii, Behram Paşa Mosque. Merhaba canım. Merhaba, iyi misin? This is Diyarbakır. Local Assassin's Creed. Good evening, brother. Third time in Diyarbakır. Third time. And this is my first time. And we're going where right now? Uh, to the old hand. With old hand. Yeah. An old part of the bazaar. But the hand, obviously, you know, is a workshop. In the olden days, now it's just cafes and restaurants. Cool, bro. But the building itself is quite nice. It's a Hopefully very big... Hopefully some nice kebabs and shit. Yeah, yeah, they got all kinds we're gonna of stuff. Have... And teas, coffees, yeah, regular... Yeah, tea, coffee. Food. I just want to have some nice kebab and after a nice coffee. And then we'll explore some churches, some mosques. Very good. And the city see. walls. Yeah. City walls date back like Roman times and it's just built upon continuously since then by different people. We're gonna see all these places, but I'm right now starving. Gotta fill up my tummy to get some energy. So as we're walking to this Hasan Pasha Han, right? And here, like so you see guys, how does the third largest city in Eastern Turkey looks like. The streets of Diyarbakir. But I'm saying, I'm saying outside the city walls you'll find all kinds of your regular Turkish shops like big supermarket chains. The infrastructure like, is again decent here. Yeah. Like, I, I, like I always say, uh, any other city in Turkey, you see good infrastructure, proper roads, shops, malls, all the cool stuff. But the mosque itself is quite beautiful. When you go there, you can see it's just like... Yeah, first time in Diyarbakir. I'm excited because but if you if you want to Eastern Turkey and if you haven't been to Diyarbakir, it doesn't count. And this is the Hasan Pasha Han, right? Yeah, yeah. Take a picture from outside and we'll go in. Sure thing. Hey, look, one of the old tea guys. Look. Yeah. This old tea guy. Coffee guy. There are these guys dressed in traditional Ottoman clothes, wandering around the streets selling you tea coffee right at the spot with paper cups. Tailors on the edge. Everyone has their own stands, small shops in the Arbaker in front of this. Hasan Pasha Han. Yeah, I can't put the camera so straight because they're so crowded. I feel like I'm gonna hit someone. There's a mosque behind you, man. Oh, we're gonna see that later. This is the Grand Mosque? Yeah. Oh, okay, we're gonna see that later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's looking down at the thing. Do you want do you want coffee quick? Is it free or free? Yeah, free. Complimentary. You want? Ne kadar coffee. Free bite. That's cool. That's cool. It's not bad actually. This should be a little bit good. I mean, it's a steep Quick stairs. complimentary so coffee. the hand, mate. This is the hand. This is the Arbucker. The hand turned oh, restaurant cafe. Okay, shopping this is center. beautiful. I wasn't expecting yeah. this place to be that lively. Architecture appreciation. Ten seconds. Wow. All these small shops. Architecture. I mean, it went from hand to mini mall restaurant cafe now, right? Like, uh, so we're in Hassan Pasha Han and we're gonna, as I said, for the third time probably, grab some bites. You look fine. In this Han, we were supposed to get something traditional, but <laughs> burger. This looks Very like traditional. yeah, Turkish high school cafeteria stuff. Fries, burger, tea. So enjoy, brother. Thanks, man. You too. <laughs> Look inside the mosque structure, the building. They have a COVID-19 vaccination place. Corinthian columns. I don't know. I think they call them Corinthian columns. All these Roman columns.
inside the courtyard of the mosque you see these old Roman pillars and this is the main mosque building so can we enter inside this is where Roman Corinthian and Islamic architecture meets and perhaps other civilizations other architectural styles too you have to take off your shoes yeah I mean, if you just stay, yeah. Go deep, go deep. Watch my shoes. <laughs> this is inside the mosque. I just want to quickly show inside the mosque to you. People are praying namaz, some people are sitting and resting, some of them are reading books, some of them are reading the holy book. This is how this room looks. Let's go to the story in church, trying to go And also on both sides of the roads, there are a lot of shops, like from herb shops to donar yeah. shops, from jewelry shops to phone shops, bookstores, a lot, a lot of different places. That's what I really liked about the Arbuka. It's so lively, like as you can see in the camera. Yeah, I mean, there's pubs. The city there's center. Cafes, there's pubs too. I mean, not in this section, just a little bit outside. There's it, some good pubs. In Eastern too. Turkey, Urfa is the most populated city. Yeah. Second is Antep, then the Arbuka. Like literally herb shops, they have different soaps, different yeah, spices, yeah, yeah. all yeah, these uh, cool things, you can dry snacks, everything you can find here. In the east, generally you don't eat bad food. I mean, in Istanbul, yeah. I remember eating really awful stuff because it's a big city, a lot of options, of course. I mean, there is going to be good ones, there's going to be bad stuff. But in the east, it's an honor for restaurant owners to make good food. Now. Like, this is literally their honor. It's true. I wonder if we go through the side streets, it might be better. Walking the streets of the Arbakar. Keep going the next couple of streets, we'll take a ride. And as you hear in the background, guys, since the Arbakar is a Kurdish majority city, on the streets you hear more Kurdish than Turkish. In Mardin, too, by the way, you hear Arabic, Kurdish and Syriac and after Turkish but mostly I mean the Syriac people said that uh, in Mardin most of the Syriacs within themselves they speak Arabic so I can differentiate between Syriac and Arabic and obviously between Kurdish and Arabic I mean I don't speak any of these languages just English and Turkish but it's an interesting mosaic I mean this diversity in Turkey different cultures different religions different languages this is something I find fascinating about especially, these lands yeah, especially in certain cities in the east this is the, the color of the society diversity it's the melting pot of different exactly cultures. exactly but Take the next i find this so unique about turkey and if you come to these areas you're gonna feel that too firsthand so yeah this section is, uh, i think there was a palace here there's a saint george mm -hmm. historian church uh, this is this way? Okay, sure. Did Nestorian churches straight up ahead, right? Yeah, yeah. I think it's like 2nd or 3rd AD St. George. I don't think know much about it. And the St. George Nestorian church. It's the classic picture spot. They, they take pictures here, but they don't know what Nestorianism is. Who's St. George? Okay. The security is warning the people. Oh. <laughs> They're climbing the old city walls. Okay. Uh, I climbed it from the other end. I mean, the walls are everywhere. You just right, you're a you're modern day Assassin's yeah. Creed. Yeah, oh. yeah Nestorian, but the roof is gone. Yeah. There is also another wedding couple in the background. Four couples we see, literally. Four weddings. Let's go and check out this very like 1700 years old Nestorian, Nestorian church. church. Nestorianism, it is another sect of Christianity, a relatively smaller one. But the main difference between Nestorianism, Nestorian sect, and the other ones is that this belief system, they do not accept Jesus as a 100% divine person. 
they do not add all these like demigod features to Jesus. In fact, they think that Jesus was just a person and he was inspired by... Huh? Person with some divinity. Yeah, and they, t they think that Jesus is a person with just, just a little divinity. And he was mostly inspired by God, nature and his surroundings. So it's quite interesting if you think like that. And of course the Byzantine church, after they heard about this, they banished all the Nestorians to this part of the region. And here, Nestorianism, the belief system spread. To a little extent, not too much. Though. We barely made it. Yeah, we just barely made it. It's good we did because yeah. this is an important church to see one of the oldest in Turkey. Yeah. Okay, you guys. Your again? Sorry. Did you see what's happening? Well, they're bargaining to sixth get in. Sixth couple. They were asking the guy, just like the sixth couple, the yeah. couple you see in the background. They were asking, what if we just give you 20, 50 dollars? Can't you just let us in five minutes? We do our wedding photo shoot. But the guy said no. no. And we have no. one sad bride in the background. So yeah, I'm glad we saw this because it's like yeah, I said, literally it's we one barely of, made it. If we came here five minutes later, churches. we wouldn't be able to see this. Okay. So I guess this is the museum section. So now they have to reform. Yeah, I think this is the center of the citadel, and this is how it looks like right now. I think this is used as a Turkish government building, and rest of them are museums. But it's closed, unfortunately. We barely made it to the church. So uh, yeah, I mean, if you come to the Avagor, make sure you visit this place, and especially make sure you visit the Nestorian Church, which is one of the most oldest, most archaic, most historic churches of Gyarbak and this region. I knew that the Arbaker was going to be amazing, undoubtedly, but I was not expecting this to be that lively. I mean, everyone is out sitting on the grasses, on parks and restaurants, cafes. I like the city. Not my favorite one. My favorite one is absolutely Mardin. Yeah, I mean, totally. Mardin rocks, okay? <laughs> Mardin is like, Mardin is somewhere here, literally. So, and Syriac church is close to Ulu Jami, right? Kind of another five minutes behind it. Another five, sure. We're gonna go through the little alleyways, you're gonna see a lot of children, people, families. I also love showing people the daily life, raw footage from the streets. So this is coming to the end, this is five o'clock now. Yeah. So it's towards the end of people's business. Still, cities, right? five o'clock is kind of a rush time. Rush hour. I would it's say kind of like people some, are leaving some places work. slowly start closing. Oh, we're at the center, so it's quite lively around us. They look small houses. Yeah. You can see the architecture on this side. Which, which one? This one? Yeah. Okay, wait. Yeah. <laughs> you back on this side, you see, look, some arches and some. Oh, yeah, old architecture. This is the old house. And a couple of youngsters wearing folklore costumes. Uh, maybe so on the way back. we're heading towards the back alleys of the Avakar. Your bungee, yeah. See. <laughs> hey, is this way? Okay. Suriyani Maria Yeah. This Suriyak church is this way. So you're gonna see a lot of kids now in these. Yes, places. good sir. Curious eyes. Back streets of the Avakar. Hello. Hello, FIFA 16. Hello. Uh, today. Uh, internet cafe. Today, FIFA 16. <laughs> Five years. Oh, this way. Here we go. Okay, let me show you the back street. Mele! Hello. So, Grady. Mele! Mele! Oh my god. <laughs> she loud, She's eh? so loud. <laughs> wow. I've never yelled at my brother like that. Me neither. I get yelled at. The back streets. And the city is only two parallels away, two parallel streets away from us. Yeah, yeah. This is all the weather. Backstreet. Backstreet boys. Backstreet, backstreet boys. Backstreet boys. <laughs> the Arabica version. Backstreet boys. The guys just passed. She has some of these kids. Like Lisa. Yes, I, this is, it should be straight. Check your Google Maps. Abi, can you send it to This. Yeah. Uh, some small shops, grocery stores, I think the church was houses. closed last time, we had to do the doorbell and someone came out. With okay, that. we'll do that. We'll try to go to someone else's. Oh, An old couple. She's got nice trainers on, she's got nights. Nice yeah, oh yeah? They're yours. Mike, Max, same shoes. Somewhere around here, I believe. Miriam, Anna. 
If this rings a bell, I can't. I think it might have been down there. Should I just Kilese? I'll be Kilese later after. Do me. Straight. Where are you from? I'm from England. You didn't ask me. It says it's closed. Ay bakalım ya bir yani girebilirsek güzel olur ama. We're gonna try our chances, fellas. That case. Çekim. Düz düz gidiyoruz şey. Sağ ol abicim. Ha. Tamam çek dediniz çekiyorum oğlum. Ya biz biliyoruz ki şey. Vay adam. Gördüm. We got the local gang. Süper, yaptık. Adam sus, hadi bak. bak hadi. Görüşürüz. Abi bak, hadi. Bunun şey yok ki. Gösteremem, kaydı durdurmam lazım. Hadi. Abi ya bak. Evet, abi ya. Yes, straight. Abi sen para verirsen. Abi para vermeyin, bu herkese de para istiyor. Para, para vermem var. ama dondurma yedim istiyorsanız. Evet abi. Tamam, ha, dondurma ha. değil mi? Ha. Tamam, ha. tamam. Bu yüzden ev aşkım etiket. Sadece dördünüzü alacağım. Başka kimse için almak yok. İstediğinizi alırız oğlum. Ne olacak? Mağlup oluyor. İstediğini alırız. Ama sadece dördünüzü. Kimseye söylemek yok. Ama Ama dur önce kiliseye bakalım. Ha kilise burada. Ring the bell. Stop. Ring it. Dude, it says yeah, it is open five o'clock. So, yeah, we didn't yeah. make it. Okay, you couldn't make it to I the mean, church. I've seen it before. This is the Syriac church. It's quite then, interesting. Let's place. get some stuff for the kids. We have this ice cream behind you. Yeah. Kapalı. So. O zaman şöyle kilise kapalıysa şimdi gelin. Dondurma alalım. Tamam. Şimdi bir tane. Tamam alacağım. Cipsler aldınız mı? Tamam. Alırım. Tamam aldım Fanta sen de al. Tamam. Tamam sen de. İç herkes içeceğini cipsini aldı mı abi? Tamam. Süper. O da aldı. Kim de dondurma alalım. Ben alacağım hepsini. Herkes bir tane Tamam sen şimdi. Ama herkesi sıraya sor. Bak kimse gitmesin hesap yapacağız. Tamam Tamam. Bak sen de Tamam. Üçünüz tamam. Buyurun. Süper. Tamam sen de sen de geç gel. Sen de geç gel. Bir dakika sen de sıra ile sen. 6, 12, 15 buçuk sen de aynı. Sen nereye geç? Ben abi. Bu da bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de bir İki, üç, dört. Süper. Şimdi hesapladın mı abi herkesin? 97, 500. Herkesinkini hesapladın Aynen. değil mi? Şimdi Başka herkes bir... olmadı değil mi? Başka yok yok bunlar. Tamam. Hadi herkes şimdi beni dışarıda bekleyin ama. Dışarıda tamam. Ben ödeyeceğim. Bekleyin. Kamera alıyor tamam mı? Bir saniye. Kacım tamam. yoruz. Abi bitti değil nakit yok para yok değil. Teşekkürler sağ olun. Çok sağ olun hadi. Ya var tam adamlarım aldı benim. Bak mis gibi. Hadi afiyet olsun. Hadi görüşürüz. Ne açayım mı? Can you open this for the kid? Hadi afiyet olsun. Görüşürüz. Hadi hadi bye bye. Okay, we found the guy who works at the church. They're gonna let us in. Although it's past five o'clock. Ne? Yok kameralı. Ekran arkadaşlar. Size biraz acele ettireceğim çünkü benim onu götürmem Tabii tabii lazım. tabii. Hemen hemen bir içeri bakıp çıkalım abi gelmiş. Yani çok sağ olun, teşekkürler. Diyor. He's helpful. Okay, he's He's gonna let us in. Wow, this is the one I went to. Be quiet. Take off my hat.
Kanka. Çok sağ olun, iyi günler abi. Teşekkürler, çok sağ olun. Merhaba canım. Merhaba, iyi misin? Hayır. Hadi bakalım, iyi akşamlar. Look at this. Another beautiful balcony. It has a wood bottom and some mud brick additions to the structure. The has a nice window frame. See some kids are playing football here. I'm not sure. <laughs> has some kids playing there. And this is the big mosque. Behram Pasha Jami, Behram Pasha Mosque. Local Assassin's, Assassin's Creed. Creed. <laughs> Local kid. This is, uh, I think they're practicing there. What's the sport called? That free free running? Uh, parkour. Parkour or parkour? Free running, they call it. Assassin's Creed. I can expect down there, right? Yeah. It's parkour and free running. They're doing a run about it. <laughs> 